AICF AI Chess Cup 2012 at AI's Officers Institute at New Delhi in India. A Merry Christmas to all the viewers. Christmas celebrations in progress at the AI Officers Institute. We are now going to go at the halfway stage, the fifth round, but before that, a small celebration. Serious Radoslav Wojtaszek and Parimajan Negi cutting the Christmas cake. Start of the fifth round in walks Abhijit Gupta, former World Junior Champion. Anton Korobov leading the tournament at this stage after four rounds on three points. Anton Korobov enjoys a full point lead over nearest rivals who at this stage are Evgeny Alexey from Russia, Radek Wojtaszek from Poland, Abhijit Gupta and Parimajan Negi, all having two points apiece. Krishan Shashikiran at the bottom of the tables right now with just one point from four games. Starting bells signaled by Chief Arbiter MS Kopakumar. Start the proceedings with white pieces against Korobo. All the games have been pretty hard fought so far. And one of the main reasons for that is the no draw of a rule here. Negi opened with the king pawn and faced. The prayer variation in the Royal Lopez earlier in the second round, the Delhi best grandmaster had beaten Shashikaran in the same opening. Now, on this day, Korobo was quite well equipped to tackle White's attack on the king side. But maybe couldn't really get much on the king side, and when Korobo was able to make some progress on the other flank. It was a wise decision by Negi to go for the draw through reputation of Moose. Game indeed was a hard fought. Kurobo with this draw took his tally to three and a half points. He still stays ahead in the tournament at the halfway stage. Just five more rounds to come after this in the AICF AI Chess Cup. 2012. The Ukrainian champion sitting pretty with a half point lead after the end of the fifth round. And, uh, interestingly, Korobo has now left to play three white games out of the next five, which makes him a favorite. We will look at it here. But imagine maybe on uh, Two and a half points after this draw. So one victory, one loss, and three draws for Negi in the first five rounds. And of course, he should have won one more game against Abhijit Gupta in the previous round, which was indeed a miraculous escape by Gupta. Krishnan Shashikiran played the black side of a Nimzo Indian defense against uh, Radoslav Vaitashek. Check, uh, did not get much out of the opening as he went for routine play. Not really able to impress Shashi Kiran in the entry cases of the main range of defense. As many as three minor pieces changed hand in the early stages of the middle game. And uh, Shashi Kiran was happy to get an opposite color bishop's middle game on board. And thereafter, Radek thought it better to go for some more exchanges, and the players arrived at an opposite color bishop's end game in almost no time. The draw was a just result. The draw takes uh, with a check to two and a half points. He too, like maybe has won one, lost one, and drawn three games. It inches Shashikiran up to one and a half. And Jenny Alexi went for the pawn opening and faced 
a rare center counter defense by Rajiv Gupta, who was apparently still in his preparation when he suddenly missed the thread of the position and blundered upon quite early. The game was not over as uh, Alex Siv could not force matters immediately, which he should have. And uh, Abhijit Gupta did get a few chances, which again on his part he failed to convert, giving in the end a much needed victory to Alex Siv, who is now in sole second spot on three points from his five games, two wins, one loss and two draws to Alex Siv. And Abhijit Gupta remained on two points. Parimarjan, you played against uh, Korobo. How was the two match? Uh, it was a tense match. I think after the opening, it was an unusual uh, but typical Spanish. Um, I went wrong somewhere in the middle game. Uh, he got a comfortable position after the bishops exchanged. Then uh, I think there were some uh, few inaccuracies from both our sides and we ended up near time pressure in a very complex position which was difficult to assess. Uh, there we repeated moves with Queen A7, Queen B6. Uh, I think it was a logical end to the game. Uh, five games are over, another five games are left. What do you think of the, the remaining part? Uh, well, uh, the second half of the tournament starts tomorrow and uh, it, it will be, of course, uh, tough. Uh, we already all players have played five tough games, long games. Everyone is probably getting a bit tired. So it will be important to see who can uh, keep their nerves in the next few games. <laughs> Thank you.